Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about gingivitis and periodontal disease. So gingivitis is an inflammation of the gums and periodontal disease is often noted by yellowish brown colored teeth which can be paired with bad breath. The ferret may not begin to eat and make now on things due to the gum pain caused by gingivitis. Often, this condition is not noticed by the owners, as it can happen to ferrets with nice white teeth. Usually, it is noticed in the later stage, when the owner can see tartar or smell a bad breath and notice a bleeding from the gums. This is associated with weight loss and anorexia as most common signs of progressive periodontal disease. Other signs are facial swelling, nasal discharge, loose teeth or missing teeth, salvation and facial fractures. Gingivitis and periodontal disease in ferrets are often related to the diet, as often owners fit commercial diets and do not take care of dental hygiene, but there are no genetic predispositions as well. In the wild, ferrets would hunt and eat frogs, lizards, rodents and birds. All these have bones, different textures of meat, feathers and skin which help to keep ferrets teeth in check. If we feed ferrets raw diet with means bones, there is not enough friction to clean the teeth. Other foods like kibble, wet food, duck soup and other diets which have no proper texture for teeth cleaning will over time contribute to dental disease. Dental diseases are caused by foods that get lodged between teeth and mixed with mild bacteria and saliva which mineralize the food to the teeth and slowly eating away the gums in the process. The ferret has 3 to 5 days to remove the derbies, and if it fails, then the tartar will build up. Diagnosis of gingivitis and periodontal disease are easily diagnosed. The owner often can see red inflamed gums, which is caused by gingivitis and the plaque accumulation on the ferret's teeth, which shows periodontal disease. One can take care of this using enzymatic toothpaste for dogs like Virbac. If it has gone unnoticed and there is a false smell from ferret's mouth, then a veterinarian should assess the degree of infection and propose a treatment which usually involves dental cleaning and, if necessary, teeth removal under anesthetic. The procedure involves removal of the plaque and tartar buildup following with rinse of the mouth with chlorhexidine solution and use of fluoride treatment. Then the teeth which are too damaged will be removed. If the disease is very advanced and the bacteria have reached the bloodstream, then a course of strong antibiotics will have to follow. The seriousness of this type of infection can be fatal if the bacteria has already reached the heart and other organs. Gingivitis is fairly easy to read off, and a ferret makes a full recovery within a few days after treatment. The vet should give you instruction on how to care for your ferret's teeth and may advise the best toothpaste and brush to use. Personally, a Firbach enzymatic toothpaste is my favorite and a tiny infant toothbrush. Luckily, none of my ferrets have any issues, but I have been using it for my dog. You can buy a gel which can be applied to the teeth with your finger or a cotton bud, and it helps to dissolve the plaque. The one I used in the past is Logic or a hygiene gel for dogs and cats. This seems to be less stressful for the ferret and I will include a link in the description box if you would like to check it out. Checking your ferret's teeth and gums is really important if you cannot provide appropriate diet or your ferrets do not eat meat on bone or meat chunks in general. Brushing teeth every once a week will help to keep these common diseases at bay. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.